Well, the final drive uh, cleaned up nicely. Um, three temps with uh, paint remover and power washer, and I got off about 99% of the stuff. The little stuff I can scrape off with a, with a brush. Not too worried about that. Got ahead of myself a little bit when I inserted this uh, seal into the flange because I wanted to put this in a sandblaster to get the rest of this paint off, but uh, that would be unwise considering I get sand in there and botch it up. So I'll just take that off with a with a power brush of some kind. And I'm still waiting for my part sandblaster cabinet in my, uh, my gun. And I want to put the uh, axle in there to get it cleaned up nice like the one on the right side. You can see how nice and clean that is. So I'm kind of at a, at a standstill. Should be able though to put the differential shaft in. I can do that. And uh, I found out a local source for this uh, 5 8 18 inch thread, one and a quarter inch bolt that I ruined. And uh, sad sadly though, they're closed on the weekend, so I'll have to get over there sometime during the week. That's the all thing I haven't uh, made mention of is the uh, the wheels and the uh, and the tires. As you can see, the tires are, uh, are badly cracked, weathered. And uh, but they still contain uh, air, or someone told me they may actually have water in them, but I, I, I'll check that. The, uh, the hubs and wheels, they are in uh, awful shape, but uh, nothing uh, paint remover and power washer can't take care of. The wheel on the right side, which is the one you're looking at now, has a hellish weight on it. Uh, it must weigh uh, in excess of 100 pounds, and uh, so that's going to be... Uh, a fuss and cuss process in getting this taken care of and I may mess with this a little bit today considering I'm a work stoppage for my uh, sandblaster gun and that one strip bolt. Roll the uh, right wheel into the shop to uh, take the uh, hub off and these bolts were terribly rusted as you can see and uh, soak these in metal rescue. Having trouble getting one of them out. Poor design. These uh, the brackets are designed to hold the hex nut head of the bolt in place as you can see so there's no way to slip a socket uh, onto the thing. Well this one over here rotating freely within the bracket rubbed off all the corners and so I tried holding it with a screwdriver and I've made a little progress but not much. So I'm soaking it with penetrating oil which I probably should have done with all the rest of them as well. Uh, certainly a lesson learned for when I work on the other tire. So we're going to let this soak for a while and I'm going to take this uh, this crowbar and insert it into the bracket like so. Apply pressure on this end while at the same time using the uh, air hammer to try to loosen the nut on the other side. So uh, I'll see you guys in a little bit. Alright, as you can see I was successful in getting that final bolt out. It was a job soaked it several hours and penetrating oil. But I think the, uh, what probably did it was heat. I put a, quite a bit of heat on that bolt and expanded it and uh, kept working at it with the impact wrench. And you can see the, uh, you can see the difference here. Here's a good bolt with nice square edges on the hex and this one here is just completely round off. So I gotta be extra careful when I take the uh, hub off the next, uh, next tire. More later.